Hi everyone, my name is Ami and welcome to my channel. Today's video is beginner ballet bar, which is great for dancers of all levels, especially if you just come back from a long break or if you simply just want to fine tune your bodies. So without any further ado, let's get started. So let's start in first position facing the bar, okay? Dancers, making sure that your turnout really comes from the tops of the legs and that all your muscles are engaged before you move. We'll go right into it. We have three Tongdu Da Vong, Demi Plie Stretch. Repeat to the side, Demi Plie Stretch. And same thing to the back, okay? Then we'll have a slow rise up. Really stay lift up nice and tall, resist the heel lower as if your body goes up in the opposite direction. Then we'll have Plie rolling through. Take a brief balance, wait for the music before we go directly to the other side, okay? So really have a nice toes pressure into the floor in all the tongue do's, really brushing, lengthening into the floor, okay? Take a breath. Now transfer your weight before your tongue do. Brush out, close, heel forward, toes back. Resist your plie. Hip square in a la seconde. Really trying to show the transition from demi point before you point. Derriere toes back. Heel in. Knees over toes in plie. Slow rise up. Plie rolling through. And take a moment to find your balance. Slowly lower the heels, maintaining your turnout. And let's get ready for the other side. Try to spread your toes before you point at the end. Don't grip the toes before you get out there. Hips are square. Really feel like your standing leg is also actively turning out. Now pulling in your abdominals when you go to the back. Pushing the floor away to grow taller. Rotate your legs right here. Calves too, inner thighs and calves. And slowly lower the heels. All right, so for plie, we will add plie with Tongdu together, okay? Let's start in first position. We have one demi-plie and stretch. Let's rise up, try to coordinate your arms and legs, lower down. Repeat that, demi-stretch, rise up, lower down. We have Tongdu on Krua in first position. Tongdu front, Tongdu side, Tongdu back. Then Alasa Kong will lower the heel into second. Repeat plie in second, demi-stretch, rise up, let your eyes fall in with your arm twice then we have four tongue do three close first and then the last one will close fifth okay repeat in fifth demi stretch leave the feet open so really trying to maintain that turnout when you lower down two sets then we have tongue do on croix in fifth front side back the very last one this tongue do close first we take our port around forward coming up a little breath before you go back and we'll go into the bar, and then the last one is away from the bar. And of course, we'll take a rise up, and let's balance one more time in first position. Okay, so dancers, make sure that your knees are always over toes, that your feet are not rolling in plie, and try to keep your back as straight as you can. All right. Take a breath. Now breathe into that angé. Check that your arms in first is not too high. Okay. We have Tongdu Ongkrua coming up. Brush 
wash the floor. Into second here. Let the eyes follow the hand. Now get back on your leg. Really trying to use the floor every single time, do you? Last one, close fit. Leave the feet open. first and get ready for pour de bra. A little breath before you go back. And we'll end with pour de bra away from the bar. Draw the abdominals in as you rise up to help you with your balance. Now make sure that we don't pause in that plie. Continue the movement. So we don't just sit in our plie but we're working our legs. Really trying to get tall every time you close. Keep the knees open and over toes. one close fit. Try to open your calves in this plie in fit. Close first, take a breathe. between your arm and your head. Make sure that you can actually breathe while you balance. Okay, don't grip the neck. For Tongdo in fit, let's go on crawl. We have two Tongdo front and the fit and the out and the fit demi plie and brush deepen that plie before you stand up that's all and side and fit and out and fit and plie trap your knees over toes and stretch repeat back repeat side and let's just finish we have to talk to front demi plie send the leg out Deepen the plie, stretch. Really establish that fit position, inner thighs engage. And track your knees over toes. And let's finish.
Make sure that your feet are not rolling in that plie. Deepen the plie. So our faster tongue do in fifth will be all accent in. Very simple. We have four tongue do to the front, four in elastic kong, two front, two side, then one front side back. And let's just reverse from the back. So the musicality will be and one, hold two, and three, hold four. That's all. Okay, so try not to bounce out of that fifth. Really try to hold that fifth just for a little bit longer. See if you can try that. Accent in and in and in. Get tall. Four side. Still using the feet the same. Two to the front. Front side back. Breathe the whole thing from the back. Well done, everyone. Now, make sure that you don't slam your leg, but actually use your muscles to close your legs. And be precise with your musicality. Deep breath, reverse. For Bao Mong Jete, we will just repeat exactly the same combination from the Tongdu exercise, except we'll add a plie relevé susu to balance at the end. So dancers, making sure that all your jetes, you really have a nice energy in the toes, okay? Really brushing the floor out and especially on the way back in. Try not to flap the foot on the way back in. In. Using the floor. All the way to the toes. Two. One of each. And try not to slam the leg. We have so so relevant. Don't be afraid to make noise in your jetes. And try to use your epilogue your upper body. Easy head on the bar. Relevant sushi. So for rong de jambe, we will add grand pliés at the end. Okay, so let's start in first position. We will have four counts, one and two and three through first on four. Let's repeat that twice, six, seven and eight, then two counts and two, three and four, 
Last one is off the floor, six, seven. And let's reverse on the dong from the back, okay? Four counts for two, then two counts for two, and then the last one's off the floor. Then close first, we have a grand plié, two, three, four, releve up. We repeat exactly the same in second and then in fifth. At the end, after the susu, let's stay in fifth position so we can add quarter bra forward and back. And let's just finish in first, okay? So dancers, making sure that your wrong de jambe, whether it's on the or or on the dong, you have a nice clear path through first position. And that your feet are not rolling through first or that the heels are bumping into each other. Okay, and lastly, making sure that your standing leg is actively rotating outwards as well. So standing leg is actively turning out already. Here we go for four counts. Trying to draw a nice um, half circle on the floor. Really standing up tall on your standing leg. Two counts. Now we have off the floor. First for grand plié. Keep your back straight. Releve up. Same in second. Well done, you guys. 
So for fondue today, let us go on crawl. Really simple. We have one and two, three into fifth and fondue. If you'd like to bring it to a tear on the floor, you can do that. Or if you would like to bring it to on layer off the floor, you can do that as well. Okay. So have a sensation that you're lifting up the body before you start to bend your legs. Peel your foot right underneath before you point into that pie. After on crow, we just take a slow forward return passe, change feet, really tracking your toes up the shin, down the calf, and same thing reverse. And that's it. So we're lifting up first before we bend. Two counts. One, two. Really establish that fit through your foot. Coordinate your arms and legs together. Moving on to frappe, we will just repeat the same pattern from our Tongdu and Jedi's combination. A quick recap, we'll just prop our foot up into that flex position. Okay, we have four to the front, four to the side, two front, two side, then front, side, back, and hold. And let's just reverse that, yeah? So dance just making sure that your frappe has a nice strike onto the floor, okay? And that we're not lifting. There should not be a lift at the end of the frappe, but a stop and then come straight back in, especially in their ear that we're not lifting up and down. Really just straight out and straight back, keeping the knees open. And prepare for front. Out, out. Really striking the floor. Open the knee. Really sharp. To the side. Front side back. A switch the dynamic. Stay on your leg and not hanging on the bar. 
How's everyone doing? We are going on to Adash, okay? So for Adash today, let's do Bat Mong Wand. We have one and reach to lift and lower and close. We repeat in Alasakong seven and the eight. Same thing in Arabesque two, three, four, and let's pull the bra into the bar. And that's it. Reverse that Bat Mong Wand, backside front, pull the bra away. That's it, okay? So dance was making sure that you don't sacrifice your standing leg or the side here for the height of the working leg. Really stay lifted tall on your standing side and try not to disturb anything in the torso. All right. Take a breath. Thinking about the standing leg first. Brush and keep reaching. Repeat in the side. Derriere, trying to keep your shoulders square. Pull the right into the bar. If you would like to keep your head straight for Derriere, you can do that as well. Now really drop the hip in the lesson call. spine as well. Nice and straight spine. In a lasikong, try to bring your inner thighs forward so you can drop the hip. And take a breath when you go into the port of bra. from underneath the leg to lift. Well done, you guys. We have Brown Batmong. Let's do up one, Tong the two. Close three, hold four, and up, and fifth, and up, and fifth. Okay, that's it, just on croix. So making sure that you go up fast, slow down, on the way down. Close three, hold four, two, grand bat mong. And today, let's just keep our arms in second position. Make sure that we brush the floor. Slow down. Two grand bat mong. Squares in the back. Keep the standing leg straight and let the music help you. Shoulder down. All right, very last exercise today facing the bar. We'll do a little releve in first and second. Okay, so let's do Let me play one and the two. Rising three and four. Let's do that twice and up and down. And plie, releve. Plie, releve. Three times. And let's tongue do two alasikong. 
Repeat it second and close first. Let's wait for the music and then we're going to use the other leg to go out. Okay? So dancers, this is kind of interesting, right? The opposition. When you plie, you want to feel like your body goes up. When you releve, when you go up onto your toes, you want to thinking about pushing into the floor. So pushing into the floor and up and down and up. Try that and see how that feels, okay? Really keep your glutes and your abdominals engaged the whole time. Pushing down. Repeat. Three releves. Goes out. Goes up. Goes down. Into second. Keep the glutes engaged. Tracking your knees over toes. Back to first. And let's wait for the music for the other side. Making you to stand up nice and tall throughout. Okay, don't lean into the bar. And try to get up on a high demi point every time. so much everyone for joining me today if you have enjoyed this video please click like and subscribe and i look forward to seeing you in the next one bye bye